Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the new Ultimate Legends in the game and you guys can see as well we do have the Ultimate Legend token exchange. Now the solos are the solos are live but if we take a look here at the Ultimate Legend sets it looks like the set ULs are not just in the game yet. They don't really tend to be immediately but as you guys already know if you've been playing all of the Ultimate Legend solo challenges today is the day you can actually get your free ultimate legend player now i do have a recommendation though don't do it yet okay because it doesn't like it doesn't say it's capped anywhere it just says there's one random career edition ultimate legend player it is not a fantasy pack and it doesn't say nat on it so it shouldn't be nat it's not a fantasy pack it's gonna be a random full ultimate legend now of course today the market is going to crash due to a lot of people completing this set i would not do it yet I would hold on maybe you want to even hold on to your collectible i'd imagine it gives you a pack though so you can probably do the set uh, if you have the collectible just hold on to the pack and then i'd wait and see what other new uls come out like we're probably gonna eventually get 99 overall ultimate Legend players guys this is not the final week of ultimate legends i know i've seen a lot of people saying that and i haven't heard any confirmation yet you guys can let me know down below but i'm pretty sure they're going to release extra solos right with the ul tokens because i know some people did miss some but I do want to give a shout out to Husky Gaming for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like on the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Now, I do want to let you guys know I have some more Golden Ticket gameplay for you guys later today. And I'm also going to be going over some unreleased Golden Ticket player stats. I know some of you guys have been tweeting at me asking me if I'm going to make a video or talk about a certain situation that happened yesterday. If you know, you know. And yes, I am going to address it later today. So be on the lookout for that video. If you know, then you know. But you guys can see Ultimate Legend Token Exchange. Get that final one. Get that done. But as I said, the market is going to be crashing quite a bit. At least the Ultimate Legend market should be crashing today. Because a lot of people that have played through, they're getting their free Ultimate Legend player. Now, I don't think that at this very second in time that anyone really has the solo challenge done because it is legit 1032 i kind of doubt that anyone has the solo challenge done just yet but you should be pulling anyone from a 96 to a 98 overall now i don't believe you could get the ltds uh that run for today but be on the lookout the market is about to change a lot you can see none of the uls are up just yet none of the u1s so let's go ahead and get into some packs i believe that's all the information though uh regarding the free player Plug the solos i'd imagine they will release additional solo challenge because obviously not every single person was on played every single one got all 16 tokens so just be on the lookout for extra solos potentially next week as you guys can see though here round number one we're gonna need this overall lawrence taylor so that's not bad uh we'll go with him and we'll go with the 280s and also the 77 give me a big ul can we get a full ultimate legend 88 big x 92 julius peppers okay that's not bad we'll go with him and the auto gram i was kind of hoping that big x would be like a full ul or something now of course you do still have five more packs here uh ultimate legend players or golden ticket players i mean golden tickets no longer have the boosted odds to pull them because today is saturday but miles garrett i think is still in packs uh if he is in packs for, for 40 hours he would still be in packs so we might have miles garrett as well as an ltd you can potentially pull today uh, round two here though we get okay 90 charles tillman big x here 95 brian dawkins double big x not what we just pulled the same high ul in, in, in one pack and 92 kurt warner a pack full of big x's and we got two 95 overall brian dawkins I have never seen that before. That is pretty ridiculous. We had 295 overall Brian Dawkins there in that pack. Let's get into these next Ultimate Legend Fantasy packs, though. So, I guess that's a good pack. I don't really know how much 95 Brian Dawkins sells for anymore, but still a pretty good pull. Uh, we'll go with any elites that we get, of course. Round two. Can we potentially top that pack we just got? And yeah, we're not going to. We get a 90 overall Joe Thomas and an 89 John Randall. I forgot to mention, by the way, today the LTD is Devin Hester, which I have to say, not impressed at all by his stats. Uh, in the ULs, the set ULs are John Randall and Jerry Rice. So we got some decent set ULs. 
and the LTD is bad. Like, I'm gonna be completely honest, they, oh, the LTD is pretty dang bad. Now, depending on his price, we'll have to see exactly what he's, goes, what he's going for. I really don't think he's gonna be expensive at all, uh, but I think some people are gonna overprice it. That's a QB Jerry Rice, and a Rendison linebacker, John Randall. <laughs> QB Jerry Rice, that is hilarious. But, I don't really think that he's gonna be that expensive. I think some people are gonna overprice him strictly because of the X factor that he gets, where like he can't fumble, but he's straight up, based off his stats, only a kick returner and punt returner so if you want to spend i don't know 350k 400k maybe he goes for more than that not really sure to get only a kick returner and punt returner because oh, i should have took the 84 overall Emmett smith there because he's honestly not a receiver at all as you get yourself 96 tony gonzalez and 95 rod woodson that's a really really good pack right there these ul packs have been low-key good not super glitchy, you know, we haven't pulled a, a full Ultimate Legend, we haven't got an LTD or anything, but they might pretty decent, but that Devin Hester, he is going to be sadly, sadly, ridiculously overpriced. You get 92 Tuggle here in round number one, we also get that 87, so we'll go with these three elites, and on the final UL pack, in round two... 97 ray lewis there we go man we finally got that full ul with that 97 overall ray so we got the full ultimate legend ray lewis aside from that we got you know 295 brian dawkins we got some 96s that was decent it was definitely decent but let's go ahead hit the auction block now and we'll take a look at these new ultimate legend players let's see exactly how much they're gonna go for i always scroll past the ultimate legend filter no many how no matter how many times i come to the ul filter i always scroll right past it and you guys can see here the new ultimate legends let's see are they up just yet it looks like nothing yet so devin hester finally hit the auction block and this is my issue with the card that's my issue right there he's not good he's straight up not good i know he has 98 speed but let's be honest here you can basically get a lot of wide receivers in this game to 99 speed 99 excel tyree kill tory hole if you have the right things on him you can get them up to 99 speed 99 acceleration so that doesn't matter to me then after that it comes down to the catching the route running what kind of abilities do you get which devin hester does have some of the best abilities in the game with that x factor but he's like legit he's not a receiving threat at all you can use him at say running back if you want to i know some people were talking about that last night on twitter saying how hester might not be a good receiver but he's perfect for wildcat perfect at running back we also have Barry Sanders, and Barry Sanders has got human joystick as well. So the only difference there comes down to the fact that Devin Hester can't fumble with his X-Factor ability, but he has 98 speed, 92 jumping, 84 catch, 82 catch, traffic, 87 spec catch. Absolutely terrible route running stats as well. Uh, 98 agility, 97 excel, carrying of a 91, which of course he does have that X-Factor, so that's good there. You can spin up a 95 and 96. I just don't see the point in you getting this card at all. I, I just don't like there's so many other wide receivers you could potentially get unless you're paying strictly to have him as a kick returner and a punt returner i can understand that because he can't fumble and he'd be probably the best one in the game but for two mil no you're not paying two mil for that absolutely not i paid 200k for devin hester uh maybe if you want to if you have a ton of coins maybe you're spending 350k on this card if you want him as a kick returner and punt returner strictly for that reason I'm, I'm not doing that though and you guys can see also we do have these set uls up jerry rice here he's got 94 speed 92 jumping uh 98 catching 95 catching traffic 94 spec catch good route running in 97 96 and 91 so yes he's a little bit slow but powered up to 95 john madden sprinter you get that up to 98 speed i think this is overall a pretty solid card you know he's got good enough catching traffic decent spec catch great route running i think it's honestly a, a, a pretty solid card uh, we take a look here at his carrying. He has a 90 carry. Run block of a 56. Again, pretty solid there. He's always had pretty decent juke at a 92 and 89 with that 52 impact block. So Jerry Rice, not, not terrible. For a decent price, I would, I would pay for Jerry Rice, honestly. Uh, and then we also have got John Randall as the final ultimate legend for today. Now, he has 83 speed, 92 acceleration, also has 93 strength, 90 tackling, 94 player, 94 block shed, and 98 finesse. So he's definitely more of a pass rusher over, say, Mean Joe Green. Warren Sapp here, 
This is a pretty interesting comparison here. Warren Sapp versus John Randall. Now, of course, plus one on everything on John Randall. If you guys decide to power him up, he'd be plus three speed, only minus one excel, same strength, better tackle, uh, one less block shed, but a better pass rusher, but you could, of course, get Warren Sapp up to 99 power move anyways. So you're paying for a little bit more speed there, and maybe he's got, like, better hit power. We'll see what the hit power is on John Randall, I suppose. And that's going to be a 91, which is better than Warren Sapp not better than Mean Joe Green. So a usable option, good for theme teams, and in general, still a pretty dang good defensive tackle. So Jerry Rice, John Randall, LTD, Devin Hester, not a fan of the Hester at all. Uh, I, I like the Jerry and I like the John Randall. So guys, that's it for today. Those are the new ultimate legends that we have for today. I will be having some other videos for you guys later today, including the unreleased golden tickets and I also am going to have some golden ticket gameplay. And by the way, I may be dropping that Cam Newton gameplay today. I have RG3 gameplay, uh, tight end Zach Gentry gameplay as well. Working on getting some other gameplays done as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.